Hi guys, my name is Catherine. I'm a launch manager here at Fulcrum and today we're going to be going over work orders. Work orders are a super useful way for a production manager to group up operations for scheduling, costing, and job tracking purposes out on the floor. For the sake of this example, I have a job 1044 set up for an electrical box. And if I go and I expand the routing from the screen, I'll notice immediately that I have two subcomponents, the box door and the box back, and they're both cut out of the same material. They both also have the first laser cut operation similarly. So from my perspective, I'm gonna to wanna to group those laser cut operations together so that I could take advantage of a nesting program and just one run operation and cut two separate components. So now that I know that this job is already in progress, I'm gonna to navigate to the production tab and I'm gonna select work orders. Once I create my brand new work order, I'm gonna search for job 1044 because I know that that's the job that I wanna to group together. And that's gonna give me all of the operations that are required to produce that electrical box. Right away, I know that I'm grouping my laser cut operation together. And that's gonna automatically filter my list to all like operations so that I'm only grouping the same things together. You'll notice over here that I've got my setup and my labor time. And as soon as I click on that second laser cut operation, it's gonna automatically add my labor times together so that we're still appropriating or allocating the appropriate amount of time to that particular equipment that we schedule this operation to. Once I create that work order, I'm able to go back into the work order and before I release it to the floor for job tracking, I can you know, make any modifications that I need to to the setup and labor time or in include additional file attachments or maybe even some additional instructions for the guys out on the floor. Once everything looks good, I can approve and schedule this and now it's gonna be available on the iPad or the tablet for a machinist to clock into and run their laser cut operation. So switching gears, we'll click into the operator's work, work order list. And immediately I can just search that work order number from the search bar. And I can see the operation that I've just scheduled is now available for me to click into and start tracking time against. So from here, I'm gonna start my timer. This is me going and reading the instructions for this step, gathering my material, anything that I need to do. And I can select the details section here and it's gonna tell me any additional instructions and it's also gonna identify the two components that I'm producing on this operation. The other benefit of using work orders is it's gonna allow me to pick all of the material required for those two components in one fell swoop. So it's summing up the material required and I'm seeing that I need to pick almost a full, full sheet. And as soon as I hit that pick button, it's gonna pull it out of inventory and allocate the material costs to those two subcomponents uh, individually. Now, after I run my program and I cut 25 components of each of those parts out, I can then just go to the complete screen and hit this complete work order operation, and it's going to finish that for both of those sequences. You'll notice that it splinters off into my next two bend operations. I do have the option to group these together as well, but if they're performed in different areas of the shop or performed by different people, I can just allow the routing to continue on its way. If you'd like to know more information about job tracking, feel free to go ahead and check out our other videos.